David Rock Feinstein here. Uh, how's it going with you? Going really well. The Rod's uh, new album. Mm-hmm. How's the promotions going on with that? Yeah, it's going good. Um, the album uh, gets released officially, I think, on May 23rd, and um, you know we're we're preparing now to do some uh, live shows and and promotion of that. Uh, we have a European tour book that starts uh, on June 11th. And uh, we'll be playing for a lot of um, some of our old fans that we haven't seen in a long time. So we're really excited about it, and um, you know, looking forward to the to getting out there and playing um, playing a lot some live shows. David, do you find that today with the internet, uh, it allowed you to get more fans and brand new fans? Let's say. Yes, it has. Um, you know, it, it's funny because you know back in the day when we were out, we really didn't. You know, we weren't aware of you know, what was going on around the world. You know, it was very hard to be in touch because we didn't have the Internet. And we didn't even really realize what kind of fan base that we had until, you know, uh, a couple of years ago. And we decided to, um, you know, we would we would get back together and do a couple of reunion local shows, and we did that. And, and um, we got such a huge response from, you know, people all over the world. We didn't realize that so many years later that we had still had so many fans. So it was kind of like... Back in the 80s, we were kind of in the dark as far as, like, you know, knowing, like, who was a fan and, and where they were located. So the Internet definitely makes it a lot different, and um, I think it makes it good for, you know, a lot of people, whether you're the artist, the band, or if you're a fan, because you can really be in touch with uh, with everybody. You know, it's a worldwide connection. So, yeah, it really has changed things a lot. Certainly when you're on the Internet, let's say, and you promote something, you click once, and then it can be mass dis distributed compared to the old yeah. days you had to, you know, really work hard <laughs> in promoting your product. Yeah, you had to rely on, you know, radio um, play a lot of times to be heard. And back in those days, you know, a lot of the radio stations weren't playing, you know, hard rock music or heavy metal music. So you had to rely on un what they called underground radio stations that were playing you know, the music that wasn't the mainstream pop music uh, of the time. So it was very difficult to get airplay, uh, especially for a new band that was, you know, just starting out. And, um, you know, so it's a, it was a whole different world to try to get, her, you know, get your music heard and out there. So now with the Internet, yeah, like you said, you know, you get it out there and it just like it spreads instantly. So it's, it's really a great thing. Now the Rod's Vengeance album, where are the people going to be uh, picking this up when it comes out? Well, I know that they'll probably be able to get it on Amazon.com. I know that they'll probably be able to get it on uh, iTunes. Um, they're probably, you know, there's some stores that still sell records, like uh, there's there's a chain called FYE that I'm familiar with in this part of the country um, that sells CDs um, in some of the department stores. But, you know, a lot of times these um, CD sales in stores has, has dwindled because of the Internet, because... There's so many places that you can buy music uh, and the albums on the Internet that um, it really limits uh, the, the selection that you can find in a music store that sells uh, CDs or DVDs. So uh, I would say probably the best bet would be uh, if you can't find it in the store, you can find it on Amazon.com or iTunes or somewhere on the Internet. On the Internet, the famous Internet. Now, David, uh, this album... You play guitar and vocals. How was the uh, the working of the album for you? Let's say with the recording process. Um, it was it was good, but you know n nowadays again it's different than it was, um, you know back when we recorded before because, um, you know before when we recorded we all had to go into a studio at one time. We locked out, um, you know a certain amount of days, you know to be in the studio to record. Uh, you know, nowadays, because everything uh, is digital, um, you know, things can be done at different times in different places. Uh, and it makes it easy when people live in different parts of the country. Um, you know, back back in the days when the Rods were together in the 80s, we all pretty much lived in the same town. So it was very easy for us to get together every day to rehearse. And when it came time to record, you know, we could, you know, book time in the studio and go in and, and record. But now... Um, we live in different parts of the country, and, you know, not across the country, but we live a ways away from each other. So to record now, um, because it's everything is digital, and you can pretty much, if you have a pretty good computer and some, uh, you know, the right um, 
stuff to put in the computer as far as recording goes, you can record tracks and then you can send the you know the recorded tracks to someone else and that person can take the tracks and put their part on and so on and so forth um with this album we 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 didn't really do it all like that we did it we got together and we recorded it um even though we used it uh you know on a computer we recorded it but um we did still get together and we shared in the um the recording experience as far as you know when when Gary was there playing the bass, you know, usually Carl and I were there also, you know, engineering. And when I played the guitar parts, um, you know, Carl or Gary were there and they were engineering. So kind of shared in the in the um, the work of putting the album together. Um, there were a few situations, different songs that we had to, uh, you know, that, that I did my guitar parts by myself mm-hmm. in my studio. And, and, and Carl had done his drum tracks in his studio um, by himself and Gary the bass tracks the same way but for the most part we were together when we recorded the whole album. Another thing too, uh, you played with the famous band Elf mm-hmm. in, back in the day. Uh, is this uh, Rod's kind of uh, drift off off of Elf? Is that uh, how it ended up? Uh, well, you know, after um, Elf kind of broke up and, and then they actually reformed after I left the band and did a couple more albums, and then, of course, you know, as history shows, you know, Ronnie, uh, and actually the whole Elf band went on to become Richie Blackmore's first band called Rainbow, um, the, you know, the first lineup of that band, and, of course, then uh, after so many albums of Ronnie being in, in Rainbow, you know, he went on to, you know, to Black Sabbath and then his own band, Dio, um, you know, during some of that time, I didn't, I wasn't involved in, in music at all, and then I just decided that, you know, I would like to, you know, play again, and actually formed a, you know, look to form a band um, to go out and just play bars, actually, and, and to make some money to make a living, and that's when the band The Rods was put together. Um, I, I looked around, and um, Carl Kennedy was playing in another band uh, at the time locally, and I met up with him, and then uh, we went through a couple bass players before we found the right one, which was Gary, and um, basically started out as a band that just wanted to go out and have fun and, you know, make some money and make a living, and we really didn't have our sights set on, um, you know, making records or traveling or touring or anything, and one thing led to another. We wrote some songs, got a record deal, and before you know it, we were, you know, in Europe touring and... um, you know, you know, seven albums later, you know, um, it, it told it told the tale as to what happened. But um, I guess I don't think you can say that the Rods were an offshoot of Elf, but I think it was kind of like just the next thing that came to mind for me uh, as mm-hmm. a project to do. And uh, is it true that uh, Ronnie James Dio would be your cousin? Yes. Did you keep in touch with him throughout the years? We stayed in touch, um, not too much like during those first years because he was busy, you know, and, and when, when Elf broke up, it wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't a bad situation, you know, there wasn't any ill feelings or anything towards anyone, you know, it was, it was the same way it was when the Rods, you know, kind of went their separate ways. Um, there was never any ill feelings. And, and Ronnie and I stayed together and, you know, we talked about, oh God, in the last uh, 10 years, you know, we talked about doing a project together, you know, whether it would be something that would be D.O. related or, you know, an Elf reunion or, you know, the possibility of singing uh, a song on one of my solo albums or singing a song on a Rod's album. You know, we had we had planned to do that for quite some time. Every time we saw each other, we, we talked about it. But, you know, logistically it was very difficult because, you know, Ronnie lived in California. I lived in New York. Um, you know, he was always busy, and it was very difficult to find the time to actually take to, um, you know, put a project like that together, even though we both wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember, uh, oh, probably, it was probably a good three years ago or four years ago, um, Ronnie was coming back home more often because his mother had taken ill. And um, he had called me and said, well, I'm going to be in town, he said, for a couple extra days, and, you know, maybe I could sing a couple songs. And I said, yeah, that would be great, you know, so... Uh, Carl and I at the time were picking songs um, for a new Rods album, and uh, I had just written the song Metal Will Never Die, and Carl had written the song The Code, and we chose to, to, those two songs to uh, to have Ronnie sing, and Ronnie came in and basically listened to um, 
you know, demo versions of those songs that we had done and uh, went in in one day and sang, like, you know, these world-class performances on them and, um, you know, really made the songs the most that they possibly could become. So, you know, at that time, um, we really didn't know, you know, where the songs were going to go. We just, you know, knew that they were recorded. We put them on the shelf, you know, and a good uh, couple years had gone by um, till the time that I started to work on my my solo album at, at the end at the end of 2010, and uh, it was right around the time when Ronnie had taken ill, and um, just decided that I would put um, "Metal Will Never Die" on my solo album, and we would use the other song, "The Code," for the Rod's new album. So, um, you know, that's basically how it worked out. Do you have other projects also that you are still doing nowadays? No, um, you know, my my focus is with the Rods right now. Um, you know, promoting this new record and uh, touring and, you know, playing out live and um, doing, the, doing the most I can for the Rods. Um, you know, that's not to say I, I won't do another solo album at some time. Maybe, you know, possibly I will. Um, but right now my priority is, is the Rods, and, and I don't really have any other projects that I, I am uh, working on right now. Now, David, for the gigs this summer, uh, how far are you going to go for the tours? Well, the tour um, is a European tour. We have some. We have three three local shows that we'll be doing at the end of this month, and the first part of June. And then um, we start a European tour uh, that uh, for us the first date is June 11th, and I think it's at the Grass Grass Hop Grass Pop uh, Festival um, in the UK. And we have we have some dates in the UK. We have some dates in Germany, uh, the Netherlands. Um, Italy, Spain, Austria, um, you know, so it's, it's covering a lot of ground and, um, so it'll be covering, covering a lot of areas where, you know, we, our fan base is really good and, um, and they should be some pretty good shows because, you know, it's a good, good part of the world, you know, for us to be playing in. And the scene is still, uh, very alive down there. Very yes, good. It is. Yeah. Would you say that in North America is uh, keeping healthy in this genre? Um, in the United States? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's there's certain pockets, you know, there's certain areas of the U.S. that, you know, hard rock is more popular. I mean, back in the day, we did a lot of tours with uh, Judas Priest uh, in the States, you know, but it was always in, you know, the southern part, like, you know, Texas and the, and the south and maybe Florida things like that. And there were certain um, areas in the north um, uh, that were, you know, good hard rock areas. Um, but because the United States is so big, you know, and it's so diverse that, um, you know, it was more difficult to find the places to really, you know, um, that were like, like com compared to like Europe, um, where, you know, a country is so small, you know, and they're so into, you know, um, you know, a different type of music. It was difficult, more difficult in the United States to to actually get out there and play to promote. But um, nowadays, I, I don't really know because we haven't toured in the U.S. in so many years. It's hard to say. Like, you know, the areas that were hot spots for us and that type of music back then, you know, may not be the same now. So we'll just have to wait and see when when we finally do get out to do some uh, U.S. tour dates. Well, I hope you have a great tour. This is going to be great when uh, this album's released. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. You know, we're getting some you know really good reviews on the album so far, and um, I'm, I'm hoping that we can get out and see a lot of the fans, you know, in person. Well, Dave, uh, been a pleasure talking to you. Well, thank you very much for having me. I I really appreciate you talking to me. You you yeah. have a, a great uh, summer. Yeah, you and you too. Talk to okay, you later. Thank you.